Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Nicholas DIY. I'm starting with this piece. It's so random, but I'm gonna explain to you what is this about. I used to have this beautiful top, floral printed, and it had like the Peter Pan color on it, just like the one you see right now. But the top got some paint on it. I just uh, decided to keep the color. First, with my scissors, I'm just going to cut like the excess that I have going on still there, just as close to the color as you can. I just want to share this video. If you have like an old top or a dress that you don't use anymore but has like this Peter Pan color thing, just in case you don't use the dress anymore, keep like Peter Pan color and get rid of the dress or the top. And now I'm just going to be cutting the excess of of my fabric. Once I have done that, I'm just going to take some black needle and thread and I'm just going to kind of like, mine is like cut it on the edges as you can see there. So I'm just going to work on that to just make it all together like so. So I'll just sew the whole thing so it's easier for the next step. I'm just going to take a jump ring like this one. I bought this at the um, jewelry supply store and i'm just going to place it in there through my needle thread and just going to um, pretty much bring the whole thing together as one and i'm not adding glue to this i'm just sewing the whole thing and i'm just going to make the knot in there cut the excess and then that's that's one side for the other side, I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing. There's a cricket outside, if you could hear it, sorry about that, I just can't do anything about it. So, once I have done that, I'm just going to take one of these clasps. First, I'm going to be opening my jump ring with my tweezers, and then I'm just going to secure the whole thing by just closing it again. Then that's pretty much what it looks like, but this is like too short for my neck and for myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding a lot more jump rings on to one side. You can add equal jump rings one side and then the other side. So the clasp is in the middle, but yeah, I just um, I thought I'd just do this this way. It's pretty much to you and how long you want your necklace to be as to how many uh jump rings you should add i added a lot i just kept on like measuring my uh my new necklace at this point to my neck and the tops that i'm going to be you know wearing with it and see how long i need it to be that's it for like the DIY part of this. And now here comes a bit of fashion show for you. I just wanted to share with you that you can use this kind of uh, necklaces for many, many tops. Here I'm just using a basic top, like stripe top, kind of like t-shirt top that I use with leggings. I think it looks super cute with this kind of tops. And then I have this like boho style top, like super flowy and really nice. And to see if you have like a, a top that has some fancy work or needlework on it, don't be afraid to just mix different kind of fabrics. This one is another top, a different style, this like more uh, baby doll kind of top. As you can see, the necklace looks cute as well with this one. As long as the top part of the top, that it goes like pretty close to your neck, this necklace is going to go well with it because it kind of looks like it's part of the dress or the top. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this DIY, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Don't forget to check out my channel for more stuff, to share this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do have a lot of DIYs. In more stuff coming up. I have a DIY playlist on my channel. It's on the cards. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like it and I'll text you later. Bye guys!